Good morning, welcome back to my channel. Yolanda here for all the newbies and welcome back to the ones that are returning. Um, first of all, um, if you're not following me on Instagram, go follow me on Instagram and also follow me on TikTok. And the winner of the baby XO is in my story on Instagram. So go follow me at Yolanda underscore, I mean Yolanda Inez underscore. And follow me on TikTok at The Lemus Family. Okay, so as you can tell by the title, y'all, let me tell you, I am 14 days uh, DPO, past operation. Woo! Okay. If you think that just because you're feeling a little bit better and kind of somewhat feel normal, you are not. Okay? You really need to take your time. This surgery is really serious, and I feel like it's more serious than having a c-section like i said in my other video okay first of all you do need your massages i've had five six massages i found this lady here that is actually mobile i can't even remember her name i would love to give her a shout out and then i found someone else um that i know that lives around here that does massages let me tell you the mistake that i made and i don't want you ladies to make the same mistake that I made thinking that you're better thinking you can be out of your faha for a certain period of time or all day I don't get out of my faha all day I will be out of my faha some days sometimes two hours a day some days I just go and just wear the faha all day long which I know it's time for me to size down and I'm not getting discouraged because I am feeding the fat However, my faha is getting a little loose and it kind of made me sad a little bit because I'm like, where is my weight? Am I losing my shape? Am I losing, you know, but I put on this dress today. I put it over my faha. I have a faha on and I also have a waist trainer on and I put this on whenever I'm not. I don't have the foam boards on. I sleep in the foam, the foam boards. So uncomfortable. Oh, Y'all, I be it be about to kill me. Like my back is burning, my side is burning. And last night, what I did is I thought that I can just, you know, sleep without my faha on and sleep in a waist trainer and put my phone, excuse me, put my phones around it. No, y'all, when I tell you, I woke up swollen. I was huge. My stomach looked like I didn't even have surgery at all. Like it was huge and I'm not even exaggerating. But um, so I got into that earlier this morning because I was in so much pain. I couldn't even get up like I, you know, have been for the last few days prior. But don't take that far off. If you're going to take it off, take it off for like two to two hours, maybe three. You can do, I think, at the most. Um, other than that, don't try to sleep without it because you will wake up swollen. And that's what happened to me. Um, oh, so rewinding back to losing weight, y'all. Okay, I started out when I got on, started out at surgery, my surgery day. I was 150 pounds. Okay, um, once I got out of surgery and with all the swelling and stuff, I was at... 156 and that's with me coming back home it wasn't that day up because i didn't weigh myself i didn't have a scale but i was 156 pounds okay once i got back home started doing whatever i was doing moving around a lot, a lot more i then got back down to 150 pounds and then a couple days ago i weighed myself i'm back up at 157 pounds so it's like it just weighs itself it's just up and down weight so you have to feed the fat feed the fat and what i do y'all when you okay whenever you get out of surgery uh, you would not have an appetite i'm telling you but it's very important for you to make yourself eat you have to make yourself eat and that's what i was doing i that's what i do still throughout the day i make myself eat i was thinking about um drinking some of Peterman. And I ordered that off of Amazon. Let me show you. Hold on. Okay. So this is what I ordered off of Amazon. It's an appetite booster. Hold on. I don't know what this. Okay. And I don't know if I paid 
20 something dollars for it. I can't remember how much I paid for it. But I think I'm going to start back taking that. Uh -uh. The appetite. Okay. I, I've been. I'm going to start that. Because I, I was drinking that before surgery to gain weight. Because I wanted to be a certain amount. I want to have like. I wanted to be at least 160 pounds before I got on the table. Didn't work. Because my weight was going up and down. Even with drinking that nasty stuff. But. So I think I'm going to take that. And you know start eating more which i do make i make myself eat throughout the day i'm just like walking around eating but you will lose the fat and i feel like i am and i feel like i have lost some fat um as far as my butt it's i don't know it's getting a little it's getting a little soft Um, it's getting a little soft and I tried to sleep on my back last night, which let me show you how I made my bed. How I did it. This is what I did. I used this boppy and I take, I took, um, this blanket right here and I put it like this. Push the hole down like that, but I actually opened this out wider so my butt wouldn't touch nothing. But it didn't work um, because it was really hurting my back so bad, y'all. So then I ended up flipping over and trying to lay on my stomach. But I think what really messed me up is not being in the fall hot at night time. Oh, and whenever I eat, rewind it. Y'all know I'm always all over the place. But every meal I drink um, Boost of Insure just to like, you know, still let me keep some weight. But this part right here sucks to me. Y'all, and y'all will start itching so bad. Itching so, so bad. But I got this little brush thing like my masseuse gave me to um for the itching I guess that's what it's right but um this way I hate see how my stomach is this I hate this part like I just feel like I feel like it's bigger than what it was before having surgery oh 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 Y'all, oh, it's so bad. Oh, one of my boobs bigger than the other. Oh, that's because this is up and this one is down. I look the cricket. Yeah. But anyways, um, don't sleep out. Don't take that far off. And uh, let me see what else I need to touch. Um, if you're planning to go and have surgery alone um, and don't want to spend all the money on the recovery house, just bring someone that is going to help you, help you out. But to be honest, I think that recovery house is just a waste of money. Even though they do feed you. If you just got a friend to come with you, I think that friend would be a lot more help. Because you're really not going to need all of that help unless you have kids with you. Um, because my husband really didn't have to do much. He really didn't. Just take care of the kids. So, yeah. So, um, I hope this helped you all. I hope I answered all the questions. I, mean, I should have wrote this stuff down. Y'all know I'm bad with that. But, um, I'm still mad about my chin because, look. I did not get lipo. And another girl was saying that she felt like, and she had the same doctor, and she was saying that she felt like she didn't get lipo on her chin because she looked the same too. That is so messed up. Because I'm like, what did he do? Did he just cut me? So now I have to go to wherever I had got my boobs done, which is Savannah Plastic Surgery, and see if they'll do it. But he want to charge me a $1,000. Which is fine if he's going to make it look like I've had it done. 
versus 500 I paid 500 for this but it's messed up because I paid for nothing I just paid for him to just cut my chin probably they probably put me in a darn chokehold that's why it hurts hmm all right guys if you enjoyed this video give this video a big thumbs up don't forget to comment like subscribe if you have any questions please please put them down in the comment section or you can dm me on instagram and i will respond back all right guys i love you so so much